Eyewitness News is your local election headquarters. The Rhode Island Secretary of State says legislation is being introduced to allow more voting by mail, at least during this big election year and the coronavirus pandemic. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie has the latest on this morning's announcement. As we know, Rhode Island's presidential preference primary was set to be at the end of April, but it was pushed back to last week due to the pandemic. The Secretary of State's office reports 83% of all votes in the presidential preference primary were cast by mail. But there were some problems. The Secretary of State's office acknowledged there were about 1,600 mail ballots not received in time, but noted that was in line with previous elections. The Secretary of State's office also noted some mail ballot applications for the June primary were undeliverable, but added this is helpful in the lengthy process of removing outdated voter information. Since social distancing guidelines and limits on large gatherings will continue into the fall, Gorbea says it's critical the health and safety of voters and poll workers is still considered, especially in such a high interest election year. She said the public health precautions will make it difficult to find enough adequate polling locations. There are places like nursing homes, assisted living facilities and senior centers. Those will likely be out of the question. Uh, the other area that's going to be uh, really difficult is recruitment of poll workers. Uh, many poll workers are in age categories that are especially vulnerable to the virus. Uh, and, and voters may also be uncomfortable being in spaces with large groups of people. The proposed bill does not eliminate in-person voting. The Safe and Healthy Voting in 2020 Act would still allow this and establish a 20-day early voting period for voting done at the polls. It also extends the deadline for ballots to be received three days after the election if postmarked by Election Day. For more details on the proposed bill, we have all the details on WPRI.com. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.